All right, and in 2010, we know one of the big stories, of course, was the Scott Heard Around the World. Scott Brown, this is now part of our top five favorite moments from the 2010 elections. Here you go. My name is Scott Brown, and I'm running for the United States Senate. This is my truck. I put a lot of miles on it during this campaign. Wherever I go, people tell me they're concerned about the path our country is on. Spending is out of control. Government keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's time for a new direction. I love this old truck. It's brought me closer to the people of this state. And I want to speak for them as their next United States Senator. I'm Scott Brown, and I approve this message because it's time we end business as usual in Washington. That is Scott Brown. That you know, the uplifting music. He's he's a, a fun man to look at, and you know, he the Barn Scott Hearn around the world. That Almost. is, the, the, it brought us into the new year with it a did. bang. Certainly, uh, joining us with a bang right now is Christina <laughs> Bellantoni from Roll Call. Uh, welcome. Um, yes. Moving from Scott Brown, though, Michael Vick. I mean. <laughs> The, the, something you didn't expect to be talking about at the beginning of the week. Is this a, a real problem for the president? I, I don't think it's a problem. I think it certainly goes in line with the pattern of Obama being very interested in sports. Um, he's gone to sports coaches to congratulate them on winning seasons. It's not that surprising that he would have something to say on policy, you know, talking about the green energy initiatives right. at the stadium, and then also say, hey, and by the way, you know, thanks for giving Michael Vick a second chance. But it also goes in line with sort of his practice of talking about recidivism rates, you had um, the crack sentencing measure where he basically said, like, there, there's an unfair sentencing here. It's sort of in line with his, his policy practice here. Now, of course, a second chance is getting this multi-million dollar football contract. <coughs> right. You know, you can argue whether he's the person who needs the second chance or not. But I think that it's going to, you know, it's something we're talking about, but it's also not going to be talked about after the new year. I, I tend to agree with you. <laughs> Let's talk about something you've been writing about now, Congress coming back soon. Where, where is Nancy Pelosi going to fit into all of this? I w I've been somewhat amazed at how quiet she was during the lame duck. Now, partly that's because the budget issue was Chris Van Hollen, who got a lot of, uh, you know, he, t he took sort of the media, uh, he was the front person. But are we going to see more of her in the new year? Yeah, I, I would love to know. Um, it was very interesting. You did not see her advocating mm -mm. for the Obama tax cuts, mm -mm. which she did not vote for, she did not right. support. But you've seen her a little bit. I, I wrote about this DCCC fundraising letter she did. It's actually not the first you've heard of her, from her. She's done three fundraising letters for them in the last two months. But she's basically saying, you know, give us some money so we can fight back against these shadowy attack groups. She doesn't mention that she's leaving as speaker. She doesn't mention <laughs> that the Republicans are taking over. She's acting as if she's still in charge. So. It wouldn't surprise me if she's a pretty aggressive minority leader in the coming days, but it's also a big question of whether these vulnerable Democrats, particularly in the South, as you guys were just talking about, are still going to have her used against them over and over again. If she's very visible, well, that could be a problem for them. Right. Does that do something for the president, though, sort of having her block, essentially? I mean, if she's still there for people to fix on, they're not fixated as much on him? Yeah, that's a really interesting question. It'd be interesting to see if his language starts to, you know, talk about anything that you're seeing from Nancy Pelosi or I don't necessarily agree, you know, is he going to be best buddies with Mitch McConnell all of a sudden, the Senate Republican leader, or, you know, how is this all going to play out? I mean, he and Pelosi are not that close. Um, let's talk about what you see going forward in this new Congress. You're going to have a whole bunch of new Republican members. A lot of us don't know much about them. Right. Um, do we expect that we're going to see really right out of the gate a, a repeal of health care, and if so, is this what we talk about for the first five months of the year? Like, Scott Brown! Right. Um, I'm not sure that you'll see it actually happen, of course, but I think that you're going to have House Republicans try. I think that they're going to pass a lot of symbolic measures to be able to say to these folks back home who, you know, elected them from Tea Party districts or whatever, look what we're doing. Right. They know very well that nothing can get through the Senate, more than likely, and if it does, it's going to get vetoed by President Obama. So this is sort of a, a game to show, look how much we're doing. I think you're also going to see House Republicans cut budgets. You know, you'll see all this action pass, but again, it's not going to get out of Congress. So I think it'll be, in it, instead of gridlock, it'll just be a lack of action. That's yeah. my prediction. So if Tea Party is the word for 2010, what's going to be the word for 2011? <sighs> Quickly. Tea Party. <laughs> <laughs> More You've already tea got party. a Virginia Tea Party candidate lining up. You know, George Allen's probably going to get in. You've got a Virginia Tea Party in yeah. there already. W we got to wrap it up there. Uh, Christina Bellantoni from Roll Call, thank yes. you very much. That's it for Top Line. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Z at Z Byron Wolf. Uh, Amy, Amy e. Walter, Walter at and, uh, the at sign. And everybody watch that Eagles game tonight.